Gouda. So this is the fault scope. This is a 50 cent one dollar microscope that's meant for classroom use and for um, people with no access to microscopes. And it's almost completely made of out of paper. And today I'm going to show you how to build one. When you unpack it, it will most likely look something like this. You get a pouch with all the stuff in there. So we have a look inside. First things first, we got the pouch, nice. And it actually fits the, the finished product inside. So that's a nice thing. We have a cleaner for the lens. We got the actual lens. The lens consists of three parts. It's the top part, the actual lens and the bottom part. And they all snap together with magnets that's nice the sticky parts to glue the lens together plus some stickers because for the classroom children like stickers we got an instruction card with what you can see when you look into water and some points about probing and microbiological stuff actually i didn't read this and then we got the instructions huge instructions and this is what we are doing today. We are going to disassemble it, assemble it, not disassemble it. And here is are some information about how to help to probe it, how to prepare your slices, how to attach your smartphone to it, and how to use it. But well, that's quite self-explanatory. We just start with the easy part. Well, not that easy, but the fun part, which is taking stuff apart. And that is the scope itself. So when taking it apart, it's quite uh, quite self-explanatory. Everything that comes already almost apart is meant to be taken apart, like, like so. And everything that has a dotted line, like this, here, this is not meant to be a part, which actually <laughs> in the first set, so this is the second I assembled, the, the first set, I actually tore it apart here <laughs> because it was on the uh, on the edge. And I thought, yeah, everything on the edge has to be taken apart. Also, this is colorful and this isn't, so it is optically, optically not um, together. So I just ripped it apart and I was wondering why it was so hard to rip it apart. Yeah, there are nice little sentences written here. Honeybees have five eyes, one on each side of their head and three on top. I'm not quite sure if they they want me to now um, catch a honeybee and put it under the microscope or... Well, it's quite nice. It's colorful. It will keep the children um, busy. And it just comes apart quite easily. The good thing is that this is no ordinary paper. This is something plasticky paper. So it's quite sturdy. So you can't, yeah, you can rip it apart, obviously, but um, it will last for quite a while. These are used to um, put the specimens in there. So you will slide this later on in the microscope and prepare your stuff you want to examine in there. We have quite a few of them, which is good. Another one and another one. Actually, this falls apart much easier than the first one I did. So they are for, um, for liquid specimens. So you put a sticker under it and then you can put the liquid in the dots so it won't be all over the place. That's the idea as far as I read it. Okay, we got this, we got this. Now the tricky part. Careful. Oh, actually, they cut in there. But it's no problem. So even if you rip it apart, you can just fix it with um, sticky tape and you will be fine. So this 
thing is quite unbreakable. Okay, here we go. Now that is done. It's really easy. It's really nice. Okay. So, and the middle piece out and this thing out. We won't need these for now. And we are left with four parts and the lens. So let's get started. First we have to put the rest for the lens in there, which we do by simply sliding this under the vet, like this, and the other side under this, and under that. Ta-da! So that was the first step. It wasn't that bad, right? Okay, let's move on to the second. Now we flip it over and we do the same thing with the second lens, but the other way around. Slides. Here you see the dotted dots here and this is perforated like this. And here are the dots. So the dots come to the dots. Dots, dots. And we slide it in here and slide it in there. Nice. Okay, um, the perforated lines are for um, turning it over, folding it, which is what we were going to do. Ta-da, it's folded. And now we take these lashes and slide them into these gaps. That's three in total, one, two. And three. So it is silver again. The bottom is black, top is silver. And that's how it should look like. See, silver on top. Next, we have to glue the lens in there. Remember, this is the lens. This is in there. So what we're going to do is, so we take one of the stickers. Also, I think you can use the stickers to attach the scope to your camera, uh, to your phone. And again, it came off the wrong way. You have to be really careful because the protective layer comes off much easier than the actual sticky part and this is really bad. Well, it might work. Okay, the center is still fine. So we take this one. So the question is if I did something wrong. With the bump side facing down. So what is the bump side? So be aware that there's another spacer that might pop between those. Because I didn't realize, and that might be the reason um, why my pictures yesterday got blurry. And this one is used to put it like on the camera. And then you can stick it to the camera. And therefore, they didn't include just one of these sticky O-rings. They included nine of them. So you can, uh, eight actually, because we just used one. So you can stick it eight times to your phone, or I mean that one time, uh, eight times, if you messed up. Okay, so we got this. This looks much better. Now for the focus ramp. This is what I messed up last time. Again, it's quite easy. Just take it and fold it in inwards, but make sure to fold all of these lines. So there are two lines each time. One, two, one, and it actually is easier if you put it on the table for doing this. Okay, this was bent before. And the 
last two one and the I think it's some of that think that's the way it's meant to be here we go perfect so just fold it in fold it in fold it in okay voila très bien we take this one flip it upside down and then we push this through here and it comes out on the other side so and if you look from the top now this is actually a ramp because it's it goes up here and the further we push it down the further the lens will be moved away from the specimen nice so last thing to do is to just bend them upwards i think that's just to protect them from being pulled out okay next step so this thing will ha hold the sample one thing and one thing we have to do is there are again these dotted lines and again we're just folding them twice to the inside and then we're putting them in there i remember that these might not be fully sliced but okay they are and then we can just push it through there so it comes out on the other side nice and easy second thing fold it once fold it twice and stick it in the gap ah, easy peasy some little adjustment and flip it over for good and here we go so this thing will now be put into here things like this and you see exactly we have to weave it through here so from the bottom to the top we just weave it through there so just two steps left the first step is to actually put this in here quite easy because we just put it on there and then we have eight eight connectors like one we can just pop up from the bottom to the top one two three last three four five six seven and eight here we are this looks much better right now we can move it up down left right and last but not least we have to fold the lower part which also has like dotted lines here 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 and we start by folding the first line down okay second line down down meaning from this page so we are folding it down we are folding it down again the second one and this one will be folded down again and this will be folded up so which will make it look something like like this so it can stick there nice last thing is to place your id sticker in here if you have one and you want to go online and share your results with the community that's it your fault scope is basically ready so let's look at the specimens from yesterday i have some blood which most likely is dried um, they tell you to use like two or three of these samples one is placed facing the lens 
and the other one is just there for stability. We want the specimen to be on the bottom and we put it in here into the yellow thing we prepared yesterday uh, for a few seconds ago and we put it in between here perfect the same thing on the bottom here between there we weave it through so like like this and you see it's now firmly secured in front of the lens so i put it in a way that the lens i think the lens is facing the specimen then you can put the thing in front and then you, you have a look through the lens and you see if it's working so you th see everything is lobbed together yesterday you were able to see all the the fine blood cells and stuff like that but not today since the blood didn't work out that well i put one of the prepared specimens that came in the yellow bag under it it's easier to adjust the focus when you have it directly on your eye i'm not holding it against the camera now you can put it in here so that's it that's the way i assembled it according to the instructions i hope that was right and i hoped it did help you so enjoy the tiny cosmos and thanks a lot for watching How do I get the lens out of this one? Ah, <laughs> ah, double fail. I didn't put the lens in there. I did glue the wrong piece in there. That's not supposed to be here. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, fixed it. Perfect.